Hey, it's Netya. It's been a hot minute and I wanted to check in with you and offer an interesting combination. I'm putting these two together because I think it's interesting to look at tragedy and how tragedy happens on a personal level and also how tragedy happens on a global scale when we look at the um, Bazi astrology for both the world map and for an individual person's Bazi astrology. So today we're talking about the Turkey, the earthquake that happened in Turkey in February, as well as Kelly Pickler, country singer, her husband who committed suicide in February. And those are the two things I wanted to unpack with you today. So if you're interested in feng shui, flying stars feng shui, and Bazi Chinese astrology, please subscribe, like, and follow. We are building a community throughout these coming months um, and exploring the world of the five elements in relation to feng shui and in relation to Bazi Chinese astrology. Um, I'm often just so surprised by the things that I see. And I'm gonna start with, I didn't actually think I was gonna start here, but I might as well. So the Turkish earthquake happened on February 6th uh, of this year, 2023, at 4.15 in the morning. And what I wanna say is when you look at the four pillars, and I mentioned, I think in my last video that there was a client that I was reading for who her day pillar was elements that were nowhere else in her chart. And what she was surrounded by was all foreign. It was like she was earth surrounded by water and trees. And what I said to her was, do you ever feel like you're on an island? And in a similar way, when I looked at this chart for Turkey, and we think of an earthquake as two plates, and we have that day was, it was a yin earth or yin hour, an earth yin hour and a yang wood a yin earth tiger hour and a yang uh, wood tiger month. So we've got the month and the hour of the tiger as strong, big trees. So what's in the center? What is the day? What is the, the life force? The, yeah, the life force of the day that that earthquake happened is a yin wood sheep and sheep is yin earth which is like sand or soil and so with sand and soil being surrounded by two big massive energies of wood it's really interesting to see that the hour brought in yang earth on top of that. So it's kind of like shifting in a great big mountain, right? And so there's this movement. I found this very, very interesting. Um, and that day, that exact moment was 55% of wood, no metal, 25% earth, very little fire, and very weak water. So you've got earth and wood opposing each other. And just to make this a little bit more interesting, on the world map, Turkey falls in the area of the snake. We're going back to 2022, my friends. So we've got the snake, we've got two tigers. This is 
as soon as that hour of the tiger began, and this was at 4.15, so it's about an hour into the tiger hour, remembering that each of the 12 zodiac animals occupies two hours. So this is between three and five in the morning is the time of the tiger, okay? And as they're coming into this, the snake is a penalty to those tigers. It causes accidents. It causes interruptions. It's a punishment. It's a penalty. And here we're seeing it full-blown on a global scale. The other thing that's interesting to note is the month of the tiger in this arrangement is a Ren pattern chart that suggests being under attack and being injured or being, um, yeah, being injured, which dovetails echoes the message of the yin, uh, of the uh, tiger snake penalty. So we've got these two things happening. Um, and I thought this is so fascinating. You've also got a semi-seasonal wood trio happening, a semi-traditional wood trio happening, a real surge of wood. fascinating. Next. So Kelly Pickler. Now she was, um, I think she came in sixth on American Idol and shot to fame, Did has done really well as a country singer, lives in Nashville. So sadly, her husband took his life. Um, Kyle Jacobs took his life. Uh, February 17th of this year, 2023. And she was born June 28th, 1986 at 2.27 in the morning. This is a weird lineup. This is very strange to me. Um, she is born in the year of a Yang fire tiger, the month of a Yang wood horse, the day of yin water rabbit, the hour of yang earth dog now what i find interesting is that the day that her husband took his life almost exactly because i didn't i don't know what time he took his life but um it mirrors her chart that day was the day of a yang fire horse, the month of a yang wood tiger, and the year yin water rabbit. So this year um, is a direct affront to her own day pillar. So some people think, oh, it's my year, right? Because this is the year I'm born in. No. It is never a good thing when you are born in the same year the the animal that we are in. It is even worse if it's your day pillar and especially if it matches exactly branch and stem. So this is someone who is a yin water person. And the fact that this year matches that is a it's an affront and it really puts a risk on your health, your safety, your welfare, and it can directly impact your marriage or your, your romantic partnership. And um, what I found so interesting was the year matches. The month is very similar to her year and the day matches her month. I just found that very interesting. So her father, and this is interesting because her dad wasn't really in her life. He shows up as her son. He shows up kind of like a, a rebellious person, somebody who um, 
kind of goes his own ro own route in life, you know, doesn't go the straight and narrow, is off in his own place. And the mom shows up as playing more of a father role, but there's also a lot of harm, a lot of um, just a really difficult, challenging uh, relationship in which the mom is kind of seen as uh, maybe a bully, maybe uh, too authoritative, too um, strict. And her mom was in and out of her life in her early years. And then she was mostly raised by grandparents. And I think that she said that she was really close to a grandfather. Though interesting to look at her year to see her elder relatives and find that um, we find that grandparent, grandmothers, aunts, elder female relatives actually show up like her father in her chart as people that are really rebellious or go like their own beat of their own drum, just very unique, quirky kind of people. Um, and both the elder female relatives and elder male relatives all are seen as helping her out financially and giving her a home. And um, yeah, and to a lesser extent, a tiny bit, giving her a sense of family. So there isn't a whole lot for her early childhood days as far as family goes. And in fact, the element that nurtures, nurtures her watery self, which is metal, is a trace amount at 2%. And she's weak as a water person at 11%. Actually reminds me of my own chart. Because um, I'm a yin water person too. And, you know, the, the risk when you have very little support and you're a weak day master is burnout. Because all your energy is output and there's very little coming to you. The story of my life, let me tell you. So um, wood is balanced kind of strong at 28%. Fire is strong at 33%. Earth is strong at 30%. And she, oh my gracious, what a person. She is so smart. Kelly Pickler is not only smart, she's an artist, she is a creative genius. She's, I'm sure she writes her own songs because she's a great writer. And she's also a force to be reckoned with. This is someone who is a survivor. She, if she's backed into a corner, she'll come out fighting. She's got a wild sense of adventure. She's competitive. She's um, loves to stay busy, loves to stay busy, on the go, go, go. She's honest, hardworking, great work ethic, great person to work with. And um, her chart, she's got a full fire trio of tiger, dog, and uh, horse. And the fact that her hour is double yang earth, it's all, I mean, it's, it's her job and it is strong, that work ethic. And the dog is all about being loyal, being true and, and, you know, having a job that benefits people in some way. I mean, and, and it's interesting. There's an element I'd love to meet this woman to ask her this question. I bet there's an element to her singing that is meant to be inspirational. Like I almost would say she could be a gospel singer. Um, yeah, interesting. So her husband shows up as someone who she enjoys playing with. She she seeks a partner, uh, a romantic partner who is somebody that she does things with, that they motivate each other, that they sing together or they have a garden together or whatever it is. But she loves doing things that make her heart sing with this person. And um, I just I can't even imagine the devastation, the shock and the grief that she's going through. And um, mental health is 
you know, we have, I mean, dare I say an epidemic in this country of people um, really struggling, struggling with their day-to-day -day life. I have mentioned before that I have struggled my whole life with depression as my mother has and ha had and um, my mom's father as well. And, you know, it runs in the family. It can run in the family. Um, it can also be caused by life. Life isn't easy. Um, and uh, it's hard to know. I think that's probably the, the thing that haunts you is that you, you think that you should have known because you're so close to someone. And, and yet um, mental health is you know, your own private health. And even somebody that's really strong, even somebody that knows that they have people in their life they could reach out to, when you're in a deep enough hole, you, I can't even explain it, except I can say that I've been there. I wouldn't go so far as to say I've been suicidal, but I will say that in the depths of depression, sometimes it is really hard to feel like you can reach out and pick up a phone and dial a number. Um, but trust that there is always hope that is there. Trust that there is always someone there who loves you. And to know that um, life is precious. Life is so precious. And um, if you're struggling before you fall in the hole, really grab on to someone and say, I really need help. Yeah. Anyway, so I just found it really interesting that he, Kyle Jacobs, died on a day that so mirrored Kelly's life, her whole astrology, except her hour. It's like, wow. And, um, When you look at someone's life like this, you know, there's no penalties. There's no big interactions other than a big yang fire trio, a big or, or a semi wood trio. And then you look at her luck cycle and her current luck cycle started in 2013 as a yin metal rabbit. Now, this is interesting because the metal is welcome. It's there to nourish her. This was a time because, you know, 2023, this summer, she's gonna shift into a new luck cycle. I will say it's interesting to me, a lot of times around luck cycle changes, which is every 10 years, depending on your the year you're born, Big stuff can happen. Divorces, deaths, um, career change, birth of a child, maybe just a huge life shift where you just change lanes, right? Um, and often, interesting, people will seek out a Chinese astrology reading with me right around the time of a luck cycle change. Not uncommon. And in fact, if you're interested in your own Bazi Chinese astrology reading, I've got um, the website knityouliving.com in the description. And feel free to, um, to get your own reading. And, um, and yeah, you get a 30-minute Zoom Q&A with me, which is fun too. Um, anyway, so this is where she has been. This rabbit luck cycle has been banging up against her own. And here comes the year of the rabbit. So now we've got three rabbits and two of them are banging up against her own. So it is like a penalty, a penalty, a penalty against herself. And I would imagine at this point, Kelly is definitely feeling like she is under attack. 
because there can only be one rabbit and that's your year rabbit, right? That's our year 2023. This past 10 years for her has been maybe a spiritual awakening, a time of learning, a time of support from outside resources. It's been a time of joyful, creative expression, manifestation, projects. And where she's going into is a Yang metal tiger. So now it shifts to the year that she's got a tiger banging up against her own tiger. Now the year isn't near as bad, but still feels like things for her are not easy. Her childhood wasn't easy. I would imagine a lot of her life has not been easy. And they're really, you know, it's interesting. What makes that happen? What makes that happen? So the interesting thing also to note is the yin metal sitting on top of yin wood is literally like a paring knife, cutting down the, like, like cutting the grass, cutting flowers out of the garden. So you've got like that conflict sitting on top of each other. And that goes again in the next 10 years yang metal on top of yang wood it's like an axe to a tree it's like it's expanding now the conflict where she's moving into is a a period really focused on the mother archetype maybe healing the wound of the mother um and it's a time of change a lot is going to change in her life after this summer. And um, with that, I think that there is a new relationship that will happen in the next 10 years. There will be moving and travel and money. But overall, overall, this is her journey of walking through the mother archetype, resolving that. And I would say mother-like figures nourishing her, taking care of her, and lots of change. Now, the other thing that could happen, she's born in 86, this also speaks of her role as being a mother and having a son or sons. So that's interesting. Anyway, um, so I bring this to you because I find it interesting how patterns play themselves out in a chart, how you can line up a year, a month, a day, and an hour for a suicide to happen, for an earthquake to happen. I should look at the Ohio train derailment that's a hot mess. Um, often in ancient times, people sought astrologers before signing contracts, before moving, before traveling, before having a child, before conceiving a child, before getting married. They sought an astrologer for major life events. And often when things happened, like an earthquake, they looked at the astrology and so much of life was divined. And we've moved so much away from that, um, away from our source, away from being tapped into that energy. And again, I invite you to get your own Bosi astrology reading so that you can see your own journey to better understand not only the journey that you've been on, but where are you going? And where are you sitting with yourself right now? And I would love to take a moment and place hands on heart and take just a deep, deep breath in and let it go slowly. Know that you are loved. Know that you are cared for. Know that you are a gift to this earth. And I'm so glad you're here. Be well.